Hey, happy Wednesday. It's sunshiny bright. On my way to the office to help bunches of people. <laughs> That's what we all chiropractors do. So we're going to talk about um, our comfort zone, but a little bit more in relation to why failure is important. Um, there are a few words that I say consistently <laughs> to people that makes them um, cringe or puke in their mouth a little bit or give them the twirly birds and it's failure. We are, as a society, very afraid of failing. Um, and I love to do these when, I, when I'm inspired and, and then to give a few tips for you to go dig in a little bit. Um, it is very, very, very important in order to uh, be successful. I don't know even know if that's the right word, but um, I think you know where I'm going. Whatever success is for you, each person has their um, their own thermometer of what what success is. <clears throat> but the most important part is that you fail forward and you fail fast. Some will say you fail up. You are either up or you're out. So you're all in or you're out. Being all in means you fail hard and you fail fast and you peel yourself back up and you go get it. I was talking to someone this morning about um, how it seems that, you know, we go through these challenges or you get out of your comfort zone and you feel like you've done on that a few times and you're like, hey, you know, I got, I got this. It's this easy and bam, next level happens. Know that this level is all the greater good of, of growth and making you um, a person that contributes more, that is greater, has a greater purpose in this world and all those fluffy things that people say. But know that that's just a transition. So we get comfortable, and once again, growth only happens outside of our comfort zone. So we get comfortable, and as soon as we're comfortable, we're uncomfortable again. As soon as things level out, you need to level up. You need to challenge yourself into the next step. Whether you like it or not, don't make it emotional. Know that in order to grow, in order to become who you're supposed to be, who you've been put on this earth to be, is a um, it is a process. It's a journey. It doesn't just happen. If it all happened, we wouldn't be continuing to learn and do new things every day. So fail up. You're either all in or you're out. In order to be all in, you have to fail fast. Your comfort zone is the most dangerous place to be. It's the most limited place to be. It screws with your head, your mindset. You're not connected. You're stuck in fear. You're stuck in lack of whatever it is. If it's love, money, success, learning, peace, whatever it is for you, as soon as you're stuck in your comfort zone, you're not growing. So what I would do is write down where you feel like life is stagnant or you're not happy with it or oh geez sometimes people don't follow rules of the road uh, um, what, what you're not happy with where you want more from because it all goes back to you not getting out of your comfort zone enough and you not failing you need to fail. You need to push yourself to fail. And I don't, I don't mean fail is bad. I don't mean it is, um, a lot of people will say it's mistakes and all that jazz. I, I do not believe in any of that. I mean, challenging yourself enough to not be comfortable and to have things flop a bit. Take yourself back up and go. So find out. Dig. Write. Journal. About where you're 
um, not getting the results that you want. Where do you know you need to fail fast? Where do you know you need to jump? Where do you know you need to peel yourself out of that box that you've put put in um, yourself in? It's all just mediocrity and victim thinking you don't deserve it um, and you're not worth it and all those things. But so much healing and so much growth comes from just doing the work, just doing it instead of asking your mentors, reading a book about it. You just have to do it. You have to experience it. You have to know what it's like to plow forward, to fall on your face, to get back up and do it again. That's what world changers do. And we're all supposed to be that. So go do it. Bye.